You're taking a look at uh, pretty much what Luca Parmitano had seen during that uh, eventful spacewalk that lasted one hour and 32 minutes. What the crew has been doing today is basically powering up the spacesuit, almost as if they were about to conduct another spacewalk. Obviously, Luca's not inside the suit this time, uh, but they did verify that this water problem with this water coming up into the helmet uh, still does exist. This is important because as the uh, ground teams and the crew on board attempt to recreate this problem, they want to make sure, obviously, that the problem is still there. Uh, the investigation investigation does continue into this spacesuit on two different fronts. The uh, engineering teams are taking a look at the root cause. Uh, they're going to have the crew begin to uh, manipulate this suit and to take some of the parts out that will be returned to Earth for investigation. Uh, but they needed to verify that this problem did exist before they do that, so sort of uh, form a baseline uh, so that anything they do to the suit in the future, any changes they do make, uh, they know uh, whether those will work or not. So again, you're seeing some of this water come up into this spacesuit helmet. Uh, this is very similar to what Luca Parmentano did experience back on July 16th as he and Chris Cassidy stepped outside for this uh, spacewalk that was due to last about six and a half, seven hours. It was cut short down to an hour and 32 minutes whenever Luca did fill this water uh, coming up back behind his head. Of course, that is uh, not something that you want to have happen uh, while you're out doing a spacewalk. So he and Chris did cut uh, the uh, spacewalk short.